Kia ora, Cordia ho, how do I welcome to five minute maker space? We're making a sideshow a carnival game today. And a shout out to my friends at Veggie Fresh in Cambridge who were very helpful in allowing me to have one of their mushroom boxes just to make this particular activity. So um, visit your local veggie store or grocer to see if they can help. Of course, you can make your activity any size that you wish. You just have to cater your pieces to suit. So given the size of box that I've got, I've actually chosen some corks for my activity and I'm going to be using a marble. And all I've done other than that is I've painted the top and bottom just for a little bit of decoration. You could paint the whole box if you wanted to as well. And then we're just gonna need some hot glue, something to cut with, and then if you wanna do more decoration, perhaps some permanent markers. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Let's first take a look at the top of our box. Now for this particular carnival game, we're going to be feeding the marble through the top here. So we're just gonna cut this section out a little bit more. And for this, you may need an adult to help. Make sure it's the right width and length. If you had to cut some of your cardboard, make sure that you take these pieces back together, just on the sides if you need to. Now it's time to talk about the placement of our corks, or whatever it is you're going to use inside here. You need a row of, in this case, four, and then we're going to alternate that with rows of three. What you might want to do is make sure that you've got enough pieces for what you'd like to achieve before you glue them down. You might want to make a mark, secure them down with a little bit of blue tack and then place them in position. You also want to make sure you've got enough pieces. So I'm going to place these as such and just make sure I'm happy with that arrangement. I'm going to have another row of four down the bottom here. Now I might just move them up slightly. because the other room we need to account for is our scoring area. Make sure that these ones in this row here are in between the spaces here. The other thing, of course, that's important is that there's room between each for the marble or your ball to move through. For the next part, and this is before we pop these down, is we're going to add three pieces of cardboard. And we're going to put these down near the bottom. And these are where we're going to do our scoring. So what I'm gonna do first, is gonna move this back up. I'm gonna remove the last row. And now with my hot glue gun, just going to lift up each cork and glue them down. Now let's take a look at the scoring zone. You'll need three pieces of card and you want to place them 
in this area down here. One, two, that one's in the middle, and three. So let's start off by securing the one in the middle. Then do the two either side. Now, have a think about what you'd like your scoring to be. Write these numbers here. That's a five. Ten. Twenty. And three. I think my three, we'll make that an eight because I think my three is back the front. There we go, so there are our scoring zones. And now it's time to put in the last row of hooks. And when they're all done, you're ready to play. Let's take a look. Place your game or board on an angle. Decide how many marbles or balls you're going to use for the scoring. Then have your players close their eyes and feed their marble in the top. That's a 10. That's a great start. How about we do four balls? That's an eight. Eighteen. Five. The score is now twenty-three. And a twenty. Fantastic. Our final score is forty-three. Now it's the next player's turn. Thanks for joining me for today's activity. I hope you've really enjoyed making our carnival game. And playing it with your friends. Kakitek.